There he is. Woo, look at that beautiful thing. What's up everybody, beautiful Charlie fish. here. Guess what we have in store for you today. First of all, thank you for your time. I truly appreciate it. So today is a special day because I'm out in the Trinity River, as always. But today we got a special treat. We're gonna do this old school. For those of y'all been catching gar for years and years and years, like me and my cousin Jerry have, we're gonna go back to um, to a process that my tío Felipe, who just recently passed away, how we used to catch gar back in the day. So uh, check it out. For those of y'all that know, we're gonna be using some of this. All right, so a little nylon rope and for bait. People think you can only catch gar with uh, carp, but that's not the case. Actually, carp is a species that was introduced into the Americas. But check it out. We're going to be check using. It out, everybody. I got two uh, poles set up. I'm going to be using two for gar and then one for catfish. But they're they're rigged up exactly the same. I have a bait caster rod. So this is what it's going to look like, just like this. So you just tie some nylon around the hooks. Hopefully the guard uh, gets tangled around that nylon mess. So the difference in the, in the actual rigs that I have set up, that one actually has a uh, bobber stop because I'm going to be suspending one uh, in the water column and the other one's going to be on the bottom. Since I arrived to the river a little bit before Cousin Jerry did, I decided to throw some lines and some bait in the water. Now the bait that I'm using is actually chicken legs. Yes, regular old Tyson chicken legs. So this is a uh, manner of fishing that our Uncle Felipe showed us way back in the day when we were about 10, 11, 12 years old, over 30 plus years ago. And the amount of runs that I had this day was just incredible, had a blast, managed to catch one. So stay tuned and watch the whole video so you can see exactly what occurred this day. And then you can also see how we rigged up the actual baits. Again, thank you all for your time. We appreciate it. Take care of yourself and one another. God bless you all and see you on the water. It's looking like a chicken kind of day. Something's taking that line. That is the suspended bobber. So I get this camera steady. All right, so this is the uh, bobber that I had the bobber stop on there. So it's kind of chunked at this way and it kind of went that way. So if you can see, it's taking the line. I took the clicker off. And we'll see what happens shortly. There it goes. Still taking that line. You can see. Again, the bait that we're using is the uh, old school that Mateo Felipe taught us back in the days. We go chicken leg, got some little nylon string dangling from the hook. So the bobber has not come up. There it goes. Never know, it could be a huge monster turtle. We'll find out. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. You see that splash? Woo! Did y'all see that splash? A nice one. Chicken on chicken. There it is. There it comes this way. Oh, he's stuck on something. Oh, there it comes. Here it goes. See if y'all can see the splash again. Nice. You don't need carp. Whatever you can get your hands on to work. Here she is. We'll see if we get that splash again. Grab his other camera. There he is. Look at that beautiful thing. 
Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Got hooked just beautiful as well. That is awesome. Yeah, rod holder. Well, there he goes, guys. I couldn't keep him. He took off. Cousin Jerry finally got here. What's up, Cousin Jerry? It looks like he's got a little bit of action on his little Dakota. Go ahead and go for it. Oh, God! <laughs> off. Get off. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Now the other one's going too. We're coming. Okay. Let's see what Primo Charlie has. Oh, got yeah. Got a little baby buffalo for some bait. We get about three pieces of bait there. So yeah. uh, it's a little hard to see. The it's kind of cloudy and no rippers on the water, but hey, you gotta keep on trying. Check it out guys. Check it out guys, here we go. Yeah, he's on. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whew. Yep, came off. Yes, sir. How big you think that turtle is, Primo? <laughs> Pretty damn big. Beautiful day on Trinity River here in Dallas, Texas. I'm actually using the old school method over there of some uh, chicken, like our uncle Felipe used to teach us back in the day and some nylon string dangling. Cousin Jerry's using buffalo, I believe. Buffalo head. And big old buffalo head. And he's got his hand on the wrong side there, you can see it. And <laughs> his I was make fun of him, he has it on the left side. Chilorio. Weird because it looked like your line was over here. Uh oh. Now it's over here. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a gar. Yes, sir. That's a gar. Nice. Look at that. Woo. Woo. Oh, that's a beautiful looking freaking gar. Look at that, guys. Woo! Is that a hybrid? Oh, wow. Look at how beautiful that's looking and feisty. Wow, look at his color. It's like gold. A bit like a turtle. Flathead. Don't 
that guys look at that bad boy look at that so what's up everybody charlie here we're about to call it a day just because we're coming right back tomorrow limo jerry we both caught one in one which was awesome lost a few today check out primo's truck nice again everybody we appreciate your time thank you for checking out the videos i appreciate it and uh, hopefully we'll see you out there on the water god bless you